I'm a Radiant Killjoy slash Cypher main, and recently I swapped from playing Killjoy on this map to primarily playing Cypher, and I've learned a lot of different things. All the good setups, all the cameras, all the cages, so I'm going to teach you guys everything you need to know to be a top frag Cypher player on Split. So now for the A site, I'm going to show you guys a deadly retake setup that help you get two to three kills without even playing in the site, so then your teammates can rotate over, you can play retake with your numbers up, and win the round. First thing you want to do is throw your camera up here against this wall like this and this camera allows you to see people walking up a ramp and they cannot even see to break this camera look and for the first trip what you want to do is put your crosshair right up here and point it to the right as much as you can and aim this one high as you possibly can while standing up so people will walk into this site and they will bump their head on the top of this trip but the sky dog that goes through will not hit this trip so it's really good to not get broken early on and you'll be able to get a free kill off this ship. And you're like, well, Cam, what if they crouch and lurk under these, underneath this? They can't because your camera not only sees heaven, but it also sees the people trying to lurk up over here. So there's no way for them to lurk up through here without you knowing. All right. Then the second trip I like to do is just right here. You crouch, point the laser into your eye. When you do this, this means you know for certain that there's no way to jump over this trip. Boom. And how I play off of this setup is I will legitimately just sit screens the entire round. You know, smokes come up, you start hearing them execute, you play behind the omen smoke, and you just get the free kills off the trips. One, maybe two. And then you sit here and you just hold screens control. Do not let them push in his screens. Just sit here and hold. Wait for your teammates and then retake together and you'll win the round basically for free. The next site for setup I like to run is when you want to play in the site. So what you want to do is you want to throw your camera up here, up on this spot. Not only does this camera allow you to see anyone walking in a main or a site, it catches anyone who's lurking through heaven to try to get to ropes, maybe to kill your teammate on a lurk. So if they like smoke this and cross, you'll be able to catch them lacking with this camera. Okay. For the trips, I will, I usually do this one trip here and then I'll come over here and do another trip and then I'll cage site. And what I'll do when they run in is I'll pop like one cage off the start like this. And then I'll try to get kills off the cage. And sometimes they like trickle in a site and they're slow. I'll get one kill and then I'll pop the second cage, go for another kill. And then I'll cross over towards elbow and reposition. And it just keeps the enemies on their toes the whole time. And you'll be able to catch two kills because the enemies run up. They'll go, oh, here's a trip break. Doo -doo -doo, boom, hit by the second one allows you to farm them. And these trips, if the enemies don't like to push heaven, you can legitimately just sit here in heaven. When they go in a site, play in the omen smoke that they throw and just kill them the same way through heaven. Or you can play in sight and have your teammate who's playing heaven like a sky or something be able to sit in that smoke and help get kills off those trips as well. Here's a fun little one way you can do inside of the A site. If you come right up here, you could literally just throw a cage up in this little gap right here. And it basically creates a free one way. So look at this. You can just sit back sight, pop this cage, crouch, and you can see everyone's feet as they run in. And they literally have no chance to see you other than randomly spamming and hope they kill you. So you can use that cage, get a lot of cheeky kills on the people running in sight. And then if you want, you can throw a secondary cage right here. So when that one, one way runs out, you can pop this cage to cross and be able to play off the other trip that you have over here to try to live longer and cross over to screens and kind of buy time for your teammates to rotate. So that's some cool little bonus technology you can use to catch a couple of picks on this site. Here's some really obscure trips you can use to catch people lacking. Here's one trip right here. And you can kind of do it anywhere up through here. And this will kind of catch the enemies off guard because this trip's kind of in the middle of the open because you're used to one being here on the side or the other side that they're not really going to be looking down for this trip. So you might be able to catch someone lacking with that one. And another one that's really weird is any of the trips right here. It takes a little bit to line up, but you can literally do it across this whole area right here. You could also do a trip off of this thing right here on the wall to kind of create like an X in the doorway that makes it hard for them to walk up and get in. But if they do walk up and catch these trips, they will be able to break both of them. So Denver, you don't use both of these at the same time. Definitely just pick one or the other and use it. But it's really cool to have some like random trips to catch people off guard if your trips constantly keep getting broken. This is the deadliest cipher setup for the B site. It'll make the enemy team so angry. You start by coming over to this brown box right here and you give it a jump and click right here. And this camera acts as a one way like the one on A where you can see people's feet for a good part of b main when they walk up and they kind of have to walk all the way up here to break the camera so it puts them at a big risk in terms of the trips this one's my favorite i put this one just like the one in a main i do it head height so it'll barely hit their head when they walk out so when the sky dog comes running and jumping through here it'll go underneath this trip but when the players run through their head gets caught and you get a free kill and if you're worried about anyone lurking or jumping on this box over the trip you have a camera here and obviously you'll be chilling with that no one's lurking through on you next trip right here on this default box you crouch you aim the laser in your eye so they can't jump over it 
the one cage here and then you want to come throw the one-way cage and to do the one-way cage you just line up anywhere underneath the doorway and then step out a little bit so you see this line throw it it'll bounce down and you'll have a perfect one-way trip every time now how i play off this setup is this when i hear the team running in they throw they pop a sky dog or that you hear them stepping b main hard you pop the first one then when this cage is up you try to break any utility that comes through the sky dog fade dogs whatever they have and then when you know they're about to come in you pop this second cage and then what i do is i slowly peek into the open and i go to cross and i'll try to kill people off these trips and then i'll cross behind this box right here and then if this trip hasn't even gone off yet then someone comes into this trip you can even spam them through this whole wall right here and get that kill while the enemies are running in this one gets me so many kills this trip right here is also another really good trip you can throw you can either have it go this way towards this side more or you can do it so it comes to the right side more like this so those are another good trip options for this site as well but this trip is lower so items like wingman and boombot might bump these so you have to be ready to be able to break that pieces of utility. Another trip that I really, really like to do is just anyone over here because someone always runs right side paths and try to clear back site. So if you have any heaven players coming over to support you for this B rush, they'll be able to get free kills off this trip. Or you can even sit heaven yourself, play retake and try to sit behind the smoke and get kills off this. You know what I mean? So you have, there's a lot of real strong potential here to get, get like one kill before the enemies even get the bomb down. This is when you guys are like, well, Cam, how often are they just like five person hitting the B site? It's not very often. Most of the time they'll split through B heaven. So what I usually do is I'll keep my one trip right here to watch the doorway. Or sometimes I'll do this trip right here and then i'll have my camera watching b main per usual and this right here is just a trip for information or you can do the door trip like we showed all right and then you can come up into heaven and the second the barrier drops boom then you come put this trip right here and the enemies can only hear this trip go down if they're really close like they have to be right here at the barrier waiting for it to go down and sometimes they'll just be like ah it's in b heaven or ah it's b main somewhere so then this trip right here will catch people lacking and it's really hard to break and oftentimes you'll be like yo omen throw a smoke mid so then they'll just walk into this trip and you you'll be able to get a free kill or if you're playing b off of your trip while you're like you'll probably be doing any one of your b heaven players like your sky or your rays who's playing mid and fighting can get a free kill off of that trip through all the smokes that'll be put down so not only are you controlling the b main space with your camera and one trip that you have over there to play a kill off of but you also have the mid trip to help your teammates so you can just be all around the world with cypher on this map and help people from all ways okay and y'all if they commonly start breaking this trip they throw a raise grenade shock dart or you know whatever pieces of util they have to break it another trip i really like to do is i'll throw one right here and then i'll throw a cage right here and i'll just sit right here and you could just see person cage or wait for them to step in the trip cage kill this one is really strong and you'll catch a lot of people because they're they're when people swing into this they're not walking up like this to find this trip they're usually walking up and swinging out like this looking at these angles so you'll be able to catch a free kill off this trip and this one is one of my favorites to do but that means you kind of give up mid control a little bit more this is a more reserved trip to get a pick off of while we're on the topic of mid here are some really cringe cypher cameras you see this wire right here you throw the cam just a little bit above the wire on the right side so you'll be in ropes doing it you throw this camera right here and this is another insanely good one-way camera Look how much information it gets. You can't see this camera. You see what I'm saying? So basically you get all of this information for free on all these people walking up mid. Really good. And another camera you can do that is really strong for holding B heaven is this one right here. Because the last thing you'd want to do is have to turn around when you're executing heaven. You have, you're turning around and you're running up here and you gotta turn around and look up to break this camera. So you might even be able to catch people slacking when you pop this camera over and over again, you ping them and you'd be able to peek from like behind this box or something and kill them looking up to break it. And you could even play a trip with it. So instead of looking for the trip, they'll be looking for the camera and you'll catch people lacking. I'm going to show you guys how to get the most amount of value out of playing Cypher on attack. Starting off with this camera right here on the A side. A lot of people already know this camera, but you jump up, throw it right here. And off the round start, you'll be able to see if anyone's like peeking screens or jump peeking. So a lot of the times I'll end up catching like a Cypher here. Okay, well Cypher's here guys. Let's go to the B or hey guys wait cypher is here that means the rest of them are towards b let's go hit this cypher right and if they commonly spam and break that camera you can like hold your gun out on this angle with the first like second of the round make sure no one peeks and you can just run up and throw this camera right here and you get the same kind of value you'll be able to see if you can catch anyone lacking get some free information but the reason i like playing over here is these cages so if you line up with this wall right here you can aim your crosshair on the top of this tree right here throw the cage okay and then the second one you aim at the white part of this building right here and give this a cage a jump throw 
So what this does is it allows you or your team to lurk up. So if your teammates want to lurk up ramp, you can pop this cage right here and cross all the way over to ramp and see if anyone will peek you. Run up, clear your corners, and maybe you'll be able to catch a pick on someone who's just sitting here holding heaven by themselves. And your whole team can even cross behind that cage while it's off, right? So now the enemy player who's like sitting sight. So let's say they hard rotate B, there's only one sight player. Well, now they're like, well, guys, they could be heaven. So now they're scared, right? And you could even pop both of these cages at the same time like this. And you could walk up, insert yourself into this corner here, right? Or you can get into this corner here and just sit here and hold and maybe peek and look for a kill and catch someone lacking, catch someone off guard because they won't expect you to be here. And if you throw this every single round, some rounds you don't do anything off of it. You just sit back, do nothing. Some rounds you will walk up. Some rounds you take your teammate and you go walk up. It just causes a lot of chaos and it'll draw people from rotating over from the B side over to the A side. And sometimes I'll even walk through this cage right here and try to get a kill on someone because like there's no way he's gonna walk through that right so it just causes a lot of chaos for the other team so sometimes i'll be going mid and i'll just run up throw my camera right here and you can peek this right here so this will basically catch if anyone's like wide swinging mid for whatever stupid reason like someone like there's a jet popping dash and walking out with an op or something you'll be able to catch if they're holding any of these angles so you could walk out and take this mid control and you can do the same sort of thing on the B side as well. You can throw your camera up on this wall when the round starts, or you can just hold this angle right here. And then you could walk up and jump, throw your camera up against this wall over here. Sorry, I messed up. Jump, throw your camera up against this wall right here. Look at all this information you get. Heaven players, all this. You don't just have to use sight for this one dimensional way on attack where it's like, oh, you just have to hold the flank. Your whole job is to hold the flank. That's all you can do. You know what I mean? You can get a lot of value. But in terms of cypher trip players on this map, what I usually like to do is I'll throw this trip right here. And I will warn you guys, if they do walk up B, they can jump over this trip right here, or they can jump over it here as well. So you do have to be mindful that they can't get around this trip, but let's say your team executes the B site, there's no way to get around this trip from this side. So it's kind of a double-edged sword, but there's no way to do a better trip here. So like, let's say you do a trip right here, the enemy team can literally just jump on this box like this, and get around it so if they do a perfect jump they'll be able to get around it so usually you just have your teammate defaulting towards b main and then they just don't get that value or you can default towards b main and hold this space so even with the trip up they can't do anything the best way to hold the flank is this trip right here it's basically a one-way trip even they can't really break it unless they walk up quietly and look right here and go for a shot on it so sometimes I'll literally just sit right here and let my teammates push mid, push A, or push B, and then they'll, someone will be stupid enough to walk up, grab the orb, or run up, and then you can just kill them right behind this box. It allows you to dodge the sky flashes, the fade eyes usually, and you can just kill someone running up. Or after they throw that sky flash, you can walk up, wait for them to tap orb, get a free kill on the person grabbing the orb. There's a lot of cheeky stuff you can do with Cypher on this map to get an early pick for you and your team. And another thing I want to add, guys, is you don't have to be so one-dimensional with the way you use your trips. You don't have to use your trips just to hold the flank. So oftentimes, like me and my teammates will run into the A site and we'll get control of the A site. You can run up here and jump and throw a trip here. Or you can come over here and throw a pretty hard to break trip right here. Right, so the enemies will have to go like this to break this trip and you might if if you get your trips down early they might walk into this one or when they coming to retake through heaven they might walk into this one so it catches a lot of people lacking you can use one or you'd probably use one trip for the flank and then you use one of these trips in sight or just throw your trip anywhere if you want you could just throw it in elbow you could throw it here like like any of your defense trips and just catch people lacking when they try to retake through the site you know what i'm saying i will give you guys one very 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 important piece of information if you guys are attacking with cypher on this map it is your job to hold this a main control right so if your teammates want to execute the a site you can throw that ramp cage right here and now they won't die from ramps you guys can focus on running into site but after you guys take that site you can help your teammates take the site you need to come back you need to hold ramp control because if your teammates are all just pocketed like two guys here two three elbow maybe one hell you're gonna lose you are not going to win that round if you just throw all your teammates in sight because one flash one grenade your whole team is basically done for it so i will literally sit back and hold ramp and try to catch people who are rotating down ramp or I'll even sit over here or I'll sit here and then I'm able to support my teammates and get the kills on the people running in this site usually so it's really good to help your teammates that way but yeah that's all the cypher technology I have and in the future I do plan on making more cypher guides for new maps so thank you guys for watching this video if you guys enjoyed the video you guys learned something please subscribe for more videos in the future have a good day